Hi, I'm Ian from Oak and Chain, and welcome to my workbench at Oak and Chain. Uh, I've set up this new YouTube channel, very low budget, very low quality. Um, just kind of see if there's any interest in kind of seeing a little bit behind the scenes and maybe try and share some of the stuff I've learned, uh, both in doing the stuff that I do with Oak and Chain, but also as a, like a professional construction worker that uh, maybe some of you will hopefully find helpful or useful. Um, right now, <clears throat> I kind of want to talk a little bit about safety. Oh, safety in the Werkstatt. Where you do your work, safety is key. Now, note about safety. Um, when we're working with tools, especially power tools, uh, sometimes it can be a little bit dangerous and you can get hurt. And that's not good. Uh, there are a lot of people that uh, work in situations in their full-time jobs where they're required um, to follow certain safety protocols, use certain safety equipment. And unfortunately, there's this inclination or tendency with a lot of these people when they're at home doing their hobbies and stuff to kind of say, oh, fuck it, I don't have to follow safety stuff, I'm at home. Uh, the problem is when you're at work and you get hurt and you're following the safety stuff that you're required to do, you're typically covered. Um, you're going to be taken care of as far as uh, workplace insurance or whatever else. The thing you need to remember is if you get hurt at home doing your hobbies and stuff and you get injured, you're on your own. You have to take time off work, you ain't getting paid. So if for no other reason, think about the money, but more logically and practically think about the pain you're going to go through if you get hurt. So let's talk about a couple of things I feel are super duper important for doing your hobbies and stuff like that in the workplace. Now, I'm going to start with one of the ones I feel is a little bit controversial, and that's the safety glove. Now, I've gotten in the habit sort of fairly recently of using safety gloves because um, <clears throat> I got enough scars on my hands and stuff right now. My hands look like a nightmare. Uh, I've been cut and nicked and sliced so many times in the job site. And the other thing too is my beautiful wife, I don't really feel like she super loves it when I'm running big callousy scratchy hands down her back and covering her delicate skin with cat scratches. So there's that. I try to keep my hands a little bit softer and stuff now. So here's the problem with the safety gloves. The safety gloves in a lot of job situations, professional job situations, are a recommendation, if not a requirement. Um, look at that. Look at all the officially looking stuff on this safety glove. What do we got here? Oh my God, it's certified this, it's certified that. Super duper. Well, that's an official work glove right there. That's fantastic. I got a couple problems with safety gloves, and I'll tell you exactly what they are. Let's say, case in point, you're working with this. This is a previously reviewed uh, Dremel rotary tool with a heavy duty cutting wheel on it. So let's say, for example, I'm wearing these wonderful gloves with this heavy duty cutting wheel on my Dremel tool and I accidentally nick myself. What's gonna happen? Oh, let's see. Oh, I'm cutting some stuff. Oh, I'm holding it with my fingers. Oh, well, guess what? You see what just happened there? Aside from the fact that I just broke my cutting wheel, son of a bitch, um, is the fact that you can see on this wooden hammer, that went right through the glove with literally no effort. You're cut and you're bleeding, hopefully not too deep. Um, so case in point, if you're working with rotary cutting tools especially, or drills or whatever, this glove affords you essentially no protection. It, it, it affords you protection from maybe getting cut, maybe, on sharp objects or sharp stones or something like that, but Generally speaking, when it comes down to something kind of serious, it is essentially totally ineffective. Um, where the additional danger lies, however, is especially in working with a rotary tool. If you are working, for example, with a high-speed rotary tool, and it not only cuts through it, but actually catches onto the glove, you are very likely, I don't give a shit what the insurance company or OSHA or whatever says, you are more likely to have the cutting wheel or blade or whatever catch onto the glove and pull more of your hand into a space where it's going to get cut. So that's my personal experience. I'm telling you right now, 
Uh, I've had debates and arguments about this on the job site. I'm telling you right now, no, no, I'm not going to wear a glove if I'm using certain situations where I feel like it could actually cause me greater injury. It's a real possibility. Yeah, that's that. However, um, a lot of times working with, uh, as I do with copper and things of that nature where you're working metal and it tends to get hot. Um, I find the gloves are very practical. Obviously more is like a, a more dexterous oven mitt. So I'm working with hot objects and whatnot. It tends to allow me to hold on to them. And for minor little bits of uh, scratching or, or whatever, it tends to be good protection. But this is something you need to kind of think about a little bit. Absolutely no question. Um, Probably one of the more important bits of safety equipment I highly recommend, especially to apprentices on the job site, is are the safety gloves. Um, <clears throat> sorry, safety glasses. Um, this is a really nice pair of safety glasses I bought myself personally because a lot of times I don't like the ones that the job site provides, the company provides, and I have no problem uh, purchasing my own if I deem it necessary because I have had my eyes injured and it sucks. Um, these you will notice have sort of a rubber gasket around them to help seal around the eyes a little bit. Um, one of the biggest problems with safety glasses, are, of course they don't look real cool, you look like a bit of a dork. Um, they tend to be, especially when you're working conditions that are hot or warm, they tend to fog up and be sort of uncomfortable. Uh, when they get dusty, it can be very aggravating. You have to constantly clean them and whatnot. I have as yet not found a super great solution for safety glasses that aren't prone to fogging up and whatnot. That's just life, I think. Um, but you'll notice all the way around here, I'm fairly well sealed up. Um, one of the worst times I did have my eye injured was actually a pair of safety glasses that look more like just the clear plain glasses. <clears throat> and a bit of uh, concrete dust was able to bounce around in behind and still strike me on the eyeball. Um, so the, this idea where it's kind of sealed around a little bit better, it's not a perfect seal, but I find it to be a lot better. Uh, interesting case in point, when I just broke this little cutting wheel on my dermal tool, I want to mention this can actually turn, right now I had it set to 15,000 RPM, and even though it's a tiny little disc, tiny little thing weighs nothing that little bit right here at 15,000 rpm that's going in your eyeball like there's no question about it and i also want to mention not trying to be like a big tough guy although i'm like badass as shit um i've had uh, screwdrivers literally through my hand impaled through my hand i've drilled through my hand i've broken ribs uh last year i snapped my thumb almost clean off uh, i was in a cast for six weeks the worst pain I've ever endured thus far was literally a microscopic scratch on my eyeball. This is something I try so hard to impart on these stupid ass apprentices and they just don't get it. If I had a nickel for every time I've seen one of these jackasses, stupid bastards, jackhammering away without safety glasses, I don't understand it. I've literally been almost crying like a baby in pain from a scratch that the doctor literally is almost like a microscope-like device to even see the scratch. It, it's incredible. I, I, I really can't emphasize that enough. Um, sometimes, because I'm a, a little bit of an old fart, and sometimes I need reading glasses to do close-up detail work, I also want to mention this does not qualify as a safety glass. Uh, if you look kind of all the way around here, there's a lot of big open spaces where stuff can fly in. Uh, the aforementioned piece of cutting wheel would have no problem striking my cheek and bouncing up and hitting my eye. Um, literally no doubt whatsoever. I, I, again, a lot of people I work with kind of tease me a little bit. Oh, he's the safety guy. do -de do -de do I'm not trying to be a keener. It, it comes from experience. Like I have, I don't really give a shit about people. People make their own choices and whatnot, but I would really, I would happily spare somebody uh, from the pain I've had to endure if it's just an easy choice of just working safe as opposed to working careless. It's just, it's completely unnecessary. Um, <clears throat> another thing I want to mention because I do an awful lot of soldering and whatnot, for example, uh, working with flames, working with torches and whatnot. 
a kind of simple yet unbelievably obvious safety thing, ventilation. Ventilation is absolutely critical. I would highly suggest, highly suggest, insist, if you're welding or soldering or doing anything with flames or torches, only do so in a ventilated area. Um, I know this again from personal experience, it sucks. Uh, a lot of these torches and flames produce not only several uh, poison gases, carbon monoxide, fumes, so on and so forth. Always do so in a well-ventilated area. Um, on the subject of do as I say, not as I do, you will notice um, the complete absence of a fire extinguisher. If I was a smarter guy and uh, practiced what I preached, there would also absolutely be here somewhere a fire extinguisher. Um, having said that note to self, I should probably purchase fire extinguisher. Not a bad idea. Um, absolutely. Because you gotta remember, when we're doing stuff at home, in our own houses or apartments or whatever else, um, it's not the job site. You can be guaranteed, I promise you 100%, anything that we do in our own homes, crafting, hobbying, whatever, that causes injury, causes property damage, promise you it's our fault like this is aside from our own health and well-being this is not something you want to do in any practical way or means um the one other thing i want to mention too real quick is and i don't unfortunately i've used my last one i don't have a sample here is when you're working with the aforementioned and previously reviewed dremel tool uh, a lot of the things you'll be using with the dremel tool are uh, expendable or depletable type bits, uh, sandpaper drums, uh, brushes, silicon carbide polishing bits, polishing compounds. Um, you should always be using not only a safety mask, practice, why don't you say not what you agree? Um, again, something I should be following a lot more myself, I admit it, guilty as charged, love to be perfect, but I'm not. Uh, but you should be using an N95 mask. They are relatively cheap. You can buy them at any Home Depot, any Baumark, any, any construction store, home building store. Again, relatively inexpensive. They're disposable. You can buy a whole box of them for relatively cheap. Your lungs will thank you. Um, also offers you a little bit of extra protection for your face in case one of these little bastards breaks off. You don't. It'll help protect you from getting cuts on your face if one of these little cutting wheels breaks off. Um, but highly recommend that as well. Um, <clears throat> again, I kind of get a lot of guff on the job site for constantly preaching the virtues of safety, but, uh, if I wasn't, you know, like I say, in a perfect world, I would practice everything I preach and unfortunately I do not. And for that reason, I have had my share of workplace injuries and it sucks. And I would happily spare any of my internet friends, uh, that kind of pain and misery. So trust me when I tell you that. I don't, I don't talk about this stuff lightly. It's all extremely important. And at the very least, at the absolute very least, um, I would highly recommend when you're working with any kind of glue or tool or anything that can in, in any way, shape or form possibly maybe get in your eye, safety glasses. You shouldn't have to pick and choose. It's not a choice. You should have all of these things that I've mentioned, but if you have to pick one, if you decide to just pick one and stick to it, for the love of all that is holy, absolutely make sure you protect your eyes. You've only got two of them. And let me tell you, friends, it doesn't take a whole lot to completely fuck them up in a way like uh, the pain you cannot possibly imagine. So stay safe, have fun, and uh, yeah, have a wonderful weekend.